Russell Walks owes it all to one man. Well, half man. When I was a little kid, I, I drew constantly. And I was most interested in drawing people. And it was really tough to uh, draw somebody recognizable because I wasn't very good at drawing. But I could draw Mr. Spock. Star Trek was the quintessential science fiction show of that time. But then in 1977, a similarly titled film named Star Wars changed everything. I remember uh, drawing a stormtrooper or something on the back of a deposit envelope in my mom's car while we were driving. It was like that light bulb moment. Somebody, some person, came up with that idea for how that would look. And five minutes later, it occurred to me that whoever came up with that probably got paid to do it. And so from then on, I knew that's what I wanted to do. This piece right here, which is probably the most uh, popular piece I've ever created, is called Star Wars 1927. Millions of people around the world have seen Wax's Star Wars-inspired work after years of traveling to the biggest trade shows in the industry. But COVID still has most of those shuttered, which meant Wax, a longtime Career Center teacher, had some free time this summer to take his talents to 29th Street. Man, there's just something about being home, you know. Every, every day I'll get a former student or, uh, you know, somebody I know from around town or a friend or a buddy to come in. Billings, for as, for as small as we are, the support that we give the arts uh, is, just, is just astounding. There's such a vibrant little community downtown that I had no idea even, even existed. It's just, it's phenomenal. If you're not a Star Wars fan, don't worry. There's plenty more to dive into, including his newest automotive-inspired series. I like to come up with, uh, you know, the catchphrase for whatever the ad would be. It's a pop culture fan's paradise. Exactly the vibe Wax has wanted to create since that deposit envelope. There's this whole sort of um, artistic attitude that if people like it, it's not good, right? And I think there's good evidence that that kind of thing is, is just as important as the other stuff. I mean, those, the, the pop culture uh, that we love, you know, might have sort of relatively simple themes, but they're important themes. The reason that these shows and movies and stuff are so popular is because that resonates, you know, with people. And I just, I just love that. Everybody can get behind Live Long and Prosper. Casey Conlon, MTN News.